Welcome back. We've got uh, Mr. Ni Owolade, who is the head of PDP's legal committee. He also joins us from Oshobo concerning the Oshun governorship elections. Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. Well, your party is clearly kicking uh, on this matter about the results. But um, there are those who will always say, look, there are precedents about this kind of scenario. We've seen it in different states, uh, Kogi, the most recent one, and they think, why is this case different? Why does your party think this is different? Thank you very much, Chamberlain. I, th I hold a contrary view. It's not... A, I, I don't think that, uh, uh, that this is consistent with what we have. We, first of all, I'll start by saying that we have the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is our grown norm. The Constitution, if you look at Section 1, 1 of the 1999 Constitution, it states expressly that this Constitution is supreme. And that's why it's a grown norm. Every other law in Nigeria derives from that Constitution. And if you also look at Section 1, 3, sub 3, it states that... Um, any other law that's inconsistent with this constitution, the constitution shall prevail. And after having said this, the constitution is very clear. Section 179, sub 2, A and B, states that a candidate for election to the governor of a state shall, and it's a command, shall be deemed to have been elected if he's caused the highest votes cast and he has not less than one quarter, the 25%, one quarter of all the votes cast in two thirds of the states. That's what the Constitution says. And in this case, Senator Ademola Adeleke had scored, he scored the highest votes of all the candidates present, and he has one quarter in the entire 30 local governments of Oshun State. So why was he not declared as the winner? It's mind-boggling. And it's a sad day for Nigeria, not only Oshun State. Why do we find it difficult to keep to the rules? Look, Chamberlain, if I may say this, there is no guideline anywhere that can conflict with the Constitution. And you now tell us that guideline is supreme to the Constitution. Of course not. Hmm. Senator Ademola Adeleke has complied with the constitutional provisions and he ought to have been duly elected that's what the constitution says and honestly i think that this is part of the our problem in nigeria we find it difficult to comply with our laws if an institution like INEC, which is such an important institution is supposed to be an impartial arbiter and finds it difficult to comply with our constitution. I don't know what's, I don't know what's happening. What Obviously, do you say? there is more to it beyond the eyes. What do you say to uh, those who think that, well, since they've seen INEC do this previously in two or more elections, and insofar as, yes, the law is there, the Electoral Act is also there, and for the fact that people think that INEC should have done the other thing, doesn't necessarily mean that they have to because they can't rely on any precedents whatsoever since they rely on the Electoral Act. Does there have to be any precedents for INEC to rely on to do the contrary? No, no, no. I, 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 <laughs> when people say that if INEC has done this or there, if you do anything wrong, it's important for us to say it is wrong. And um, 
this issue is very important. There are numerous cases, authorities. Even if you look at Oshom Osumbo against Oshom Ole, even in Oshu State, let, let, let's come to Oshu State. In 2010, the judgment of the Court of Appeal, uh, where Justice Clara Gobi presided, 10 out of the 20 local governments, 10 out of the 30, 10 out of the 30 local governments were cancelled. And yet, Arad Beshola was still declared as the governor, as the candidate for, of, the, or, or, of the then uh, ACN. If you don't cancel, I mean, if, if having cancelled 10 local governments out of 30, which is the entire one-third, and yet you still go ahead to declare, you're now talking of seven units, just seven units. Something is wrong somewhere. Obviously, something is wrong somewhere. Look, let me tell you, they said a guideline. What guideline? There is no guideline that can add or subtract from the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I mean, let's, let's, we want to be part of the civilized world, my God. We have the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which states that under what terms somebody can be declared a governor. And our candidate has satisfied those two conditions, just two major conditions. He has scored the highest votes, and he has not less than one quarter in the two-thirds of all the local governments. In fact, he has one quarter in all the local governments. So what are we talking about? So Look, Lord, if I may Lord, add this, if you can hear me, we uh, even have, because there were, so, there were a number of irregularities even there yesterday, they made some calculations, they, they made some errors, and um, they were going to add, the guy who was supposed to add said, oh, he went somewhere. I, I, I was amazed with, with the, return, the chief returning officer. Mr. Wolade, if you can hear me, you know, my, if, uh, my question to you now is that uh, I, have, I haven't ruled out all these 